This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by 4th Terrace Diagnostic Center. Welcome to sports, everybody. Softball fans have a real treat to look forward to as a regional men's tournament will soon take place here in the capital. We get a story tonight from Charles Fisher. Softball will be big on the agenda come 2015 for the Bahamas Softball Federation as they get set to host the ECAS tournament here in New Providence. On board this year we do have Hazel McDonald from the um, Abaco team who replaced Mr. Martin Burrows as coach of the team and I'm going to ask him to start practice in Abaco and Grand Bahama starting next week and uh, we try to select the team by the end of um, January so we're giving everybody two and a half weeks to prepare themselves to come out to practice and we're going to look at the team so we can actually have a very good team with good chemistry and we'll, we'll represent this country well. Manager Gully Burnside says despite it being the off season, his duty is to put together the best team possible. I have six to eight weeks to build chemistry and so at the end of that three week period uh, we want to be able to have in place a team that we can build chemistry around because we may bring in new club players and we need to have them fit into the program itself. Once again, practice sessions will begin next week Thursday. It's an open trial, so all softball players are invited to come out. The same will be happening on the family islands. For Zedna's Total Sports, I'm Charles Fisher. All right, thanks a lot, Charles. Well, the 2015 track and field season is underway, and this year, athletes have something new to look forward to. We are going to have Jamaica-style champs in the Bahamas. Uh, we are going to have an, an enormous high school championship that is a real national competition where all the major schools from the Family Islands and Nassau come together. I think it is scheduled for the first weekend in March, um, and it will be March 5th through 9th, I think, or 5th through 7th. March 5th through 7th, you will see champs in the stadium. Now a number of meets will take place between now and the Nationals and that includes the T-Bird Flyers Classic which gets underway tomorrow and runs through Saturday. I expect a, a good crowd because our coaches now want to see where, what condition their athletes are in going into the season. It is a terrific qualifying meet. All the times will be um, legitimate, uh, will be automatic time so if anybody make any qualification standard it will, it will stand for all the, all the international meet. And a lot of the Crypto members who won the team last year and still eligible would probably be competing in this meet. Now athletes from Club Monaco will also be competing in the T-Bird Classic this weekend and coach Diane Woodside spoke about her expectations. Our kids have been working extremely hard over the off-season so I expect a lot of fantastic performances. Um, I expect some surprises from those persons who um, in the past have not been doing as well. And it always happens as we progress and as they continue to come out on a consistent basis that kids just con uh, continue to improve time and time and time again. The New Providence Volleyball Association was back in action last night at the Donald Davis Gym and the youthful Avengers gave the COB Cabs all they could handle before losing out in three tough sets. I think it was a long Christmas break, perhaps too long. Um, we made a lot of, a lot of mistakes. Um, we really just made a lot of mistakes in it. Our serving was off, our passing was bad, our setting was bad because one of our main players, she hurt her ankle tonight so she wasn't here. So I think we just need to get it together. The first set, once we got to 23 points, we made a crucial error in serving a bad ball. If we didn't serve that ball bad, I think we would have won the first set. The second set, we lost. The third set, we were right there as well. So, you know, notice the two games were 26, 24, and 25, um, 23. They just need to get tough now. So in the critical areas of the game, they keep it tight. If they had done that tonight, we could have done much better. We could have won at least two of those sets. The New Providence Basketball Association also in action last night at the AF Adelaide Gym. The YKS Wreckers trail the double R services cleaners for most of the game before tying things up at 89 at the end of regulation. That meant five extra minutes would be needed to decide a winner and the Wreckers saved their best for last. They outscore the cleaners 15-7 in overtime to pick up a 104-96 victory. Kevin Armstrong led the way for the Wreckers with 23 points. Lenny Oscar had a game-high 29 in the loss. And that will do it for sports. Stay tuned. The Bahamas Tonight comes back after the break.
This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center.